Yaki, but I want to talk about sex with you. Sex is very, very important, and we shouldn't just be giving it up to anybody, especially not the women. Cause a man, he has a prong. He can stick it in and bring it out, and he cool. Even his, even the way he nut, he ejaculate. He's always giving. He's that's why he's mostly doing all the work, doing all the humping, all the pumping, all the stroking, all the poking, and then he ejaculate. He nut inside the woman. The woman vagina is like a suction cup with a penis in it. Notice a penis in the vagina, your muscle starts and it, it's bringing it in because it's, it's trying to ejaculate that sperm from, from the man. Everything about your body is to bring particles in. Everything about the man body is to shoot particles out. Based off of that alone in biochemistry, you are gonna have a longer effect and a more powerful effect than I will. That's why I Man can go around and anything but a woman one and she is what she is addicted for the rest of her life not only that the sperm remember the sperm breaks down your so-called immune system mm -hmm. it has a way of passing the blood and brain barrier and the receptors actually connect to your receptors so whenever you have sex with a man they sperm bind to your brain for the rest of your life i should have waited on my husband i don't recommend a woman putting anything in her vagina other than penis though so how often should fluid. a man ejaculate so from say, per week so from my studies you can have sex as much as you want but you only post a man supposed to be ejaculating probably once a month oh my god but you have to strengthen up the penis too and i have a, a amazing penis uh strengthening exercise for my brothers what you do is you would get your penis hard and when your penis get hard you will get one of them thick like a thick hotel uh, towel you put warm water on it and you put it on your penis towards the tip not enough to close to the tip where it'll fall off and you lift it up all you do is lift it up. Yeah, you are just such a wealth of information. We have lost the technique of breathing. Like a lot of us are being mouth breathers. Breathing through your mouth, it actually cuts your years, uh, cuts your life expectancy by 10 years. It changes the structure of your mouth. It pushes your teeth out and make you talk different. It gives you rotten tongue. It gives you thrust on the mouth. It messes with your circadian rhythm when you're trying to go to sleep. That's why they even created some type of band-aids and stuff or tape that you can literally close your mouth with when you're sleeping because they have figured out that with mouth breathing, you don't get delta wave sleeps delta wave sleep is a deep sleep you get to regenerate and heal your body because most of the healing process go on when you in your sleeping stage but you can't get that when you're not actually going into them deep rams of sleep